Right, here we've got a linear programming question with five regions. One there, two, three, and these are actually two regions. So we're going to show these regions on a graph. Now the first one says 8x plus 3y is less than 480. And the way to do this is to draw a little table. X, Y, put in naught there and naught there. Then when X equals naught, that's naught. 3 times Y, it's got to be less than 480. So Y is going to be at 160. We'll deal with the fact that it's less than or equal to and not equal to in a minute. This says less than or equal to. We'll deal with this in a minute. Uh, when y is naught, 3y is naught, 8 times something is 480, that something has to be 60. So in the graph on the next page, I can plot these points. Uh, then we've got 8x plus 7y greater than 560. So again, I'm going to draw a little table. I'm going to put in noughts there. When x is naught, 8x is naught, so 7 times something is 560, uh, that's 80. And then when, um, when y is naught, 8 times something is 560, that's 70. Then we've got y greater than or equal to 4x. Now this is a slightly different format to the graph, or to the equation I should say. Here we've got x and y on one side and then the number on the other side. So this naught naught technique is pretty good. Putting naught naught there is just going to get naught 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 doesn't really make any difference. So the best thing to do here is to just pick some easy numbers, one, two, three. And then y is four x, so that's four, eight, twelve. Now what's going to happen, in fact, when we start drawing the graph, we'll see these numbers are far too small. So although 1, 2, 3 is normally a good way of doing it, it would be better, we'll see that on the next graph, you'll see why in a minute, to times everything by 10. So if x is 10, y is 4 times 10, which is 40, when x is 20, and so on. So we've got these three tables which we're going to plot on the next graph. So the first graph went through 0, 160 and 60 naught. So I can plot those points and then join them up with a straight line. Now I've drawn that freehand um, because of the way I'm making the video but you should use a ruler. Now the actual question said 8x plus 3y has to be less than 480. We've drawn the the line showing where 8x plus 3y equals 480. So the region where it's less than 480 is either this side of the line or that side of the line. Here on the line it equals 480. Now to decide whether it's this side or that side, pick any point. Pick any point either on that side or that side. The easiest point is 0, is 0, 0. Is 8 times 0 plus 3 times 0 less than 480? Is naught less than 480? Yes, it is. So this is the region that we want. So the technique here is to shade out the region you don't want. So I'm going to shade out that side to show that we don't want that region, which leaves us uh, this side, which we do want. Now the next region we had to show was 8x plus 7y greater than or equal to 560. Mm. And we found that uh, from the table you can see that x, when x equals naught, y equals 80. And when, x, uh, when y equals naught, x is 70. And we join those up with a straight line. Again, I've drawn that freehand, you must use a ruler. Now what we want, again, is where, oh no, not again, uh, it's different this time, it's where it's greater than 560. So pick any point, 
either side of this line. This is where 8x plus 7y equals 560. Over here is where it is one side and here is the other side. Let's pick naught. Naught again. I'll put naught there and naught there. Is naught plus naught greater than 560? No, it isn't. So this is the region that we uh, don't want and this is the region we do want because this in this region, naught naught for example, the inequality doesn't work. So as before, shade out the region that you don't want and we get this. The next region was y greater than 4x and remember that I changed it from 1, 2, 3 to 10, 20, 30. You can see now on the graph uh, that putting in 1, 2 and 3 right, right down uh, here would be, would be far too imprecise. So at 10 it's 40 so let's put a little cross there. At 20 it's 80, so let's put a little cross here. And at 30 it's 120, let's put a cross here. And then join those up with a straight line. It does go through the origin. So we get a straight line. That's not terribly good, it's a bit wonky, but there we go. You should use a ruler. We want y to be greater than or equal to 4x. So is it this side or is it this side? No point in choosing 0, 0 because on 0, 0 they're equal. So let's pick, say, x is 10 and y is 0. x is 10 and y is 0 there. Is 0 bigger than 40? No, it isn't. So it's this side that we want. So we have to shade in this side. So let's do that. Let's do that in blue this time. Now there are two other regions that you may have noticed I ignored and that was x is positive and y is positive. Most linear programming questions involve uh, numbers of real things so you can only have positive numbers. Easy to forget this, There's a, there'll be a mark going for this. Uh, let's shade in this pit so we're only having positive y numbers and let's shade in this side so we're only having positive x numbers. So this means that this region here is the feasible region. In other words, all solutions to this problem lie within that region. Now there's an objective function which is f equals 3x plus y and we need to find the minimum value of f and the maximum value of f. Now these minimum and maximum values are going to occur at any one of these four points, the vertices of the feasible region. So we need to determine what those points are. So let's label them um, A, B, C and D. A is clearly the point 0, 080. B is where the line 8x plus 7y is 560 meets the line y equals 4x. So let's solve those equations. I'm running out of space a bit here, so I'm going to squash this up a little bit. So I've got 8x plus 7y, but y is 4x. So 7 times 4x is 28x. So 8x plus 28x is 560, because it's on the line, so it equals that. We're looking to find out the coordinates of this point here, which is on both lines, where both equations are true. So 28 plus 8 is 36. 560 divided by 36 is uh, 140 over 9. So x is 140 over 9 and y is 4x, so that's 560 over 9. Now you should check that this seems to be about right. 140 divided by 9 is just over 15. This point here, yes, just over 15. 560 divided by 9 is about 62, so yes, it's at about 62. You could get approximate answers by the graph, and the way I've drawn it with this horrible freehand, not straight line, They'd be very approximate answers, but to do it properly, you need to work out the coordinates of these points. 
So a similar thing for C. So we're looking to see where 8x plus 3y, but y is 4x, so 3 4s is 12, so 8x plus 12x uh, is 480. 8 plus 12 is 20, 480 divided by 20 is 24, so C is at the point 24. Y is 4x, so that's 96. Just check that looks OK. C is 24, that looks about right, 96, yeah. And then finally D is obviously uh, 0, 160. So there's the information summarised. What we're looking for is the maximum value of F and the minimum value of, of F. <coughs> so at A, F is 3x plus y. Uh, I've substituted 0 and 80 into that expression. At B, f is 3x, so that's 3 times 140 over 9. And then it's plus y, plus 560 divided by 9. And that works out to be 980 over 9. Uh, and just for the purposes of comparison, that's 108.888, etc. <coughs> At C, f is 3x, that's 3 times 24, 72, plus 96, 3x plus y is 168. And at d, f is 3 times nothing, plus 160 is 160. So the minimum point is at uh, a, which is 0, 80 and f equals 80. And the maximum point is at c, so that's 2496, and f equals 168. Now this was a little bit of an abstract linear programming question. Uh, lots of questions are a little bit more um, rooted in real life applications, but these are the main techniques that you need to know.